Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Um, I'm back. Today we're gonna try something a little different. So, I've been watching these weird, creepy Craigslist videos throughout the whole week. You know, the creepy pasta weird side of YouTube. And it kind of got a little interesting to me. So, I personally decided to do my own video. And let's see how this goes and if you guys actually enjoy this. I'm going to be reading some Craigslist ads. Some weird ones. And essentially seeing what they're about and seeing what you guys think of them. Let's go. Alright, so here we have free human-sized hamster wheel. Nigga, what? Free human-sized hamster wheel available for immediate pickup. Can accommodate up to 200 pounds. Fully functional. Not recommended for houses with small children or animals. 50 pounds of shredded newspaper also available. <laughs> You're going all out with this, huh? I will not have this in my house any longer. Taking appointments to view the wheel this week. So hold on, you do. You have a huge hamster wheel in your house. What kind of weird fucking fetish do you have? You pretend you're a fucking hamster? All you do is fuck eat and exercise or something? They got hamster simulator games on online. I can, we can do that, we can play that. Niggas wanna be Hamtaro and shit. Doll for sale. That bitch looked like she had a horrible night at the club. Our daughter doesn't want it anymore. Our dog won't stop barking at it, and we never find it where we left it. Doll has really cute laugh, no batteries. What? You better burn that shit. You better stuff that shit down the toilet. Give it to somebody you don't like. Give it to a dot. Give it to a nigga who broke your heart. You telling me this shit laughs with no batteries? Well, all you're saying is solar powered, or? And you selling it for one dollar? I am broke. I don't. I don't even have. I got fifty cent. I don't want to buy it. I only got 50 cent, I'm, I'm sorry. Check this one out. <laughs> For $100, I will come to your holiday party dressed as an elf on the shelf and sit on my location you assign me while staring emptily at your guests for the duration of the event. But I also offer contracted private investigation and babysitting services. Please inquire about the rates as they are negotiable, uh, negotiable based on the task at hand. My services has been in high demand. Now I inquire at least 48 hours in advance of any booking and appreciate your understanding. Thank you and happy holidays. Whatever you want my name to be. That is just creepy. Who wants to pay a 40 year old man to sit on their shelf staring at their guests and their children? Fuck that. Fuck that shit. This nigga look like a Christmas Teletubby. What, what gives people these ideas? I'm not gonna pay you to sit on a shelf for $100. How are you private investigating anything? People can see your big ass on the shelf. You think somebody just gonna walk past and be like, Oh look, it's a, to it's a to look at the toy. Look at that toy. And how are you being a babysitter? What babysitting services? You just gonna sit there on the shelf while my kid fucking burns the house down? Just standing there like, I don't have a kid by the way everybody. I don't have a kid. Take this one out. Gorgeous man seeking sexy young roommate. Nigga, this is not sugar daddy. I'm not even gonna read all this shit, but this is not sugardaddy.com. You look like you was bred with a human and a potato. A potato flew around my- Download a Tinder. They got old ass men like this on uh, Craigslist. I'ma find myself an old ass woman. <laughs> Oprah. 5'11", tall drink of water with an unmeasurable amount of sex appeal. Seeking a valentine. Thing I like in a lady, has a sexy pair of eyes, doesn't mind if things get a little weird, enjoys sweaty love making, can handle four minute riding this bucking bronco. Nigga, what? Things about myself. Big things don't always come in small packages. My favorite movies, The Notebook. You you really trying. You you trying here. I sometimes cry after sex and I'll spoon you all night long till the dawn. No pig, no reply. You can tell this man is serious with the heart-shaped hair on his chest and his lower belly button. Is, is this y'all type of guy, ladies? Comment below if this y'all type of nigga. Cause I might be doing something wrong with my life if I'm not like this guy. You know, out of the notebook, crying after, crying after, I could cry after sex, all right? If, if she's sucking my dick wrong. I don't know if I wanna continue down this road we're going down right now, this path. It's, it's not healthy, it's not good. Stay the fuck away from Craigslist. <laughs> No. If you have a spare room and need help with your kids, click here. Hi, my name is Amber and my fiance name is Brandon. There's a picture of me and my fiance. We are wanting to help parents out with their kids in exchange. I'm sure they meant in exchange. We do not have a job. Nigga, is them fangs? I'm afraid that you might bite my children if I had any. Y'all look like a couple that'll, that'll do some weird shit. Rapist. 
I'm, I'm just gonna say rapist. A lot of you are gonna comment, don't judge a book by its cover. But would you let these motherfuckers in your house? So what I get from this is stay the fuck away from Craigslist. <laughs> Thank you for watching, y'all. Comment below on what you thought of these ads. There will be a part two of this if I get enough likes. So make sure you thumbs this video the fuck up. Follow my ass on Instagram right here. My Snapchat, my Periscope. I'm recently going on Periscope a lot, going live. So holla at me. And yeah, I'll catch y'all next video. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.